Houston Midland Airplane. We're also going to show you a brief safety video on the screen in front of you. So take a look and let us know if you have any questions. Thanks. Hello, and thanks for flying with Virgin America. A few announcements that we can see in our flight. Everyone should have a look at the safety card that is in the seat pocket in front of you. Not only does it have pretty pictures, but it has important information about the location, how to operate all exits, and displays other safety features in this airplane. Please keep your seatbelt fastened whenever the seatbelt light is on. To be safe, we recommend your seatbelt stays fastened whenever you're in your seat. Just in case there's an unexpected turbulence. And please comply with instructions from the in flight team in regards to fastening seatbelt signs. For the point zero 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 one percent who have never operated a seatbelt before, it works like this. Just insert the middle end into the buckle until it's free and pull on the loose end to tighten. Open and lift on the top of the buckle. Ensure the seat belt fits low and tight across your lap, and you're good to go. There are four doors <coughs> to the front and two in the rear. Each door has an inflation slide which inflates when the door is open. There are also two window exits over the windows. Also, each door can also be detached from the airplane if flotation is necessary. Each door and window exit can be indicated by an exit sign. There is also a path of white lights along the base of the seat that is these red lights, which mark the exit. Take a moment to look around and find your closest exit. This may be behind you. Go on. We'll wait. It's unlikely, but if the cabin pressure changes suddenly during the flight, oxygen levels will automatically drop from the compartment above your seat. If this happens, pull one of the masks down to your face and cover your nose and mouth. Put the elastic band around your head and tighten by pulling the loose end to each side of the mask. Oxygen will be flowing to the mask, so don't worry if the bag doesn't inflate. Be sure to put your mask on before helping others and keep it on until a crew member finds it safe to take it on. Also unlikely is the possibility of a water leak, but just in case, a pouch containing a life vest is located under your seat. In first class, they are between seats at floor level. Take it out of the plastic bag and place the vest over your head. The strap goes around your waist and attaches with a buckle. Pull on the end of the strap to tighten. As you leave the aircraft, pull sharply on the red plastic handle to inflate. The vest can also be inflated by blowing into the red tubes at both the shoulders. A water-activated locator light is attached at shoulder level. Keep in mind that your seat cushion is not a flotation device, so please don't take it home with you. A word about compliance from our friends at the FAA. The airplane is one big no-smoking zone, so you can't smoke in the restrooms or anywhere else on the airplane. Tampering with? Enabling or destroying restroom smoke detectors isn't allowed by law. And everyone is required to follow the instructions from the in-flight team and comply with lighted information signs and posted placards. Okay, as we get ready to take off, please check that your seat belts are fastened, seats and tray tables are up, and your electronics are on. As the crew comes through to make a final cabin check, Please let us know if you have any questions or need any help. We promise to do everything we can to make sure you have a safe, comfortable flight, not least of which is ending this speech now. Thanks. Virgin America invites you to keep back, relax, 